their lives down for their country and um, you know they're doing what they they love to do this weekend, people in Sherwood remembered the brave men and women who lost their lives while serving our country. It was all part of the 14th annual Tribute to Fallen Heroes. The ceremony honored more than 100 soldiers from Arkansas who fought in the war fought in the war on terrorism. They tell Fox 16's Rochelle, Rochelle Turner the goal is to never forget and support their families. Rochelle. Stephanie, good evening to you. That's right. No matter if their loved one died while fighting in combat overseas or here back at home because of what they had to go through, they tell me it's important to honor them. Their names are different. Corporal Curtis M. Oldham, United States Marine Corps. Senior Airman Bradley R. Smith, United States Their Air stories Air. remain the same. They died doing what they love to do. The star. American Legion Post 74 in Sherwood, taking the time to honor. It's a, it's a team effort. Uh, we're all in this together. Staff Sergeant Carlo M. Robinson. Remembering 155 men and women from Arkansas. Unfortunately, the list has grown longer. That have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Every casualty, whether it happened overseas or whether it happened at home. Kimberly Gillum's brother, Staff Sergeant Donald Orlando Smith, fought in Iraq twice. When he came home, he took his own life. It was tough, very tough. Um, there were two small kids left behind that had to be taken care of. A different story for Sherry Briley. Her husband, CW3, Donovan Briley, killed in 1993 during a helicopter crash known as Black Hawk Down. My daughter is now a mother and she has children and he's missing out on being a, you know, a grandpa. Now, a member of the Gold Star family, a bun, that will always be there. Uh, we all feel the loss. And their names? John Gussie M. Never Captain forgotten. Army. Smith. Brandon. Now there were several guest speakers, including uh, Sergeant Essenberg, who was a staff for the Governor Acer Hutchison. He declared Saturday as Fallen Heroes Day, and Michael Brooks, who is the CEO of we Got Your 22 also spoke at the ceremony about the suicide rate for veterans. He shared his story and talked about the different treatment and programs. Back to you. All right, Rochelle, thanks so much. We're so grateful for what they do.